Hey, Mom. It's been a while since we last talked. It's been pretty rough lately with Leviathan's dragon hunters after me, my brother, who is possibly my rival, and if that wasn't enough, my best friend joined up with Leviathan. All so she could have her revenge after what she thought I did. She's free now from Leviathan's control. On the plus side, all well, your cards are back together again. I wish you were here, Mom. I miss you. I miss Eli. Miss Crystal, and there's one more person I miss. Sorry, pal, but this duel's already over. Fossil Warrior Skull King, attack! Go, 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 Golem! The match is now over! The winner of this duel is Evelyn, which means you will now advance to the next round. Our next match will be Crystal versus Alexander. We will begin the duel in five minutes. So please, will our next challengers make their way to the dueling field? Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't yeah, don't worry about it. Here, okay, me, you don't have to have to help. Fine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. here, here are your cards. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> congrats on your first match. Oh, thank you. I'm Evelyn. Kasara. Kasara. That's cool. Thanks. Evelyn, that's cool too. Oh, thanks. Are you a dualist? Yeah, I'm just supporting a friend. Oh, that's sweet. So, um, hey, do you... Would our next contenders, Evelyn and Michelle, please report to Dueling Field B for the next round? That's me. I gotta go get ready. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, if you ever want to do a practice round sometime, let me know. Yeah, sure. Bye. My name's Evelyn. My turn. I played the spell Fossil Fusion. I'll fuse the remains of your Blade Knight and my Shell Knight from our graveyard. What a waste of a move. Your monster's no match for my Berserk Dragon. For now, maybe. But that's going to change. I play the spell Time Stream. Time Stream? What does that do? I'm glad you asked. By tributing a Fossil Fusion monster, I can summon a new Fossil Fusion monster. So I can evolve my Fossil Warrior Skull Mona into Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. It's still no match against my Berserk Dragon. We'll see about that. I play the continuous spell Burden of the Mighty. For each level your dragon has, it loses 100 attack points. Berserk Dragon is a level 8 monster, meaning it loses 800 attack points. Aw oh, crap, this isn't good. Now Skull Knight, attack Berserk Dragon! Night Slash! 
Lucky move, but I'm still in this fight. I'll summon a more powerful monster on my next turn. Hate to break it to you, but you won't get a next turn. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight can attack twice this turn. Uh, no, and that means... Do I even have to finish that sentence? Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, end this duel! Night Slash! Uh, uh... Hey, you dueled really well. If you ever want a rematch, I'm down anytime. Yeah, I guess I did. Thanks for the duel. ever need someone who understands, just come find me. Yeah, um, here, we should stay in touch. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, let me. <laughs> there, call me. Okay. <laughs> stay strong, it'll work out in the end. Thinking about our future, baby? <sighs> Darian. FYI, no I wasn't. I'd rather work in industrial illusions than spend my entire life with your conceited ass. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. I was gonna take you out to dinner or go see a late movie. I hear the new Jean-Claude Magnum's Ninja movie is premiering tonight and I just happen to have two tickets to tonight's big movie. What do you say, baby? Want to see the movie with the man of your dreams? Dream on, Darian. I told you this before. No, strike that. I've told you many times before. I'm not interested. You and I have nothing in common. It's like you are so disappointing. Now leave me alone. Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! That's not the answer I want to hear! So that's how you treat your women when things don't go your way? Not surprised. Men like you are so pathetic. Cut the bullshit, Evelyn. I've tried to show you that I deeply care for you. Hell, I've bought you things to show that I love you. Yeah, and the way you've been doing it the last few months is creepy as hell. So leave me alone before you regret it. Well, you know what I have to say to that. Too late to turn back now. You're kidding, right? No, I'm dead serious. Let's make a little wager, shall we? Fine. If I win, you leave me alone and never bother me again. Deal. But if I win, you will be mine. And mine alone. Prepare to become the future of Mrs. Darien. Not a chance. Transport. Let's, Let's do I'll go first. First, I set a cart face down. Next, I summon Protector of the Sanctuary. Next, I play Card Destruction. We both discard our entire hand, and then draw the same number of cards that we discarded. Whatever. That move won't change anything. I'll still get the same cards back anyway. What? <laughs> Normally you would draw. But guess what? You just lost your starting hand, because Protector of the Sanctuary prevents you from adding cards from your deck to your hand, unless it's your draw phase. Crap. 
this isn't a good start. I end my turn. You move, baby. Ugh, don't call me baby. I draw. Activate drop off. Sorry, babe, but the card you just drew will have to go to the grave. Damn it. Great. Great. Now I have now nothing to summon to or defend with. I end my turn. My move. Summon Yatakarasu! Attack her life points directly! I set a card and end my turn. Yatakarasu, return to my hand. A 200 attack point damage doesn't mean anything. It's my turn now. I draw! What now? When Yatakarasu attacks your life points, your draw phase is skipped until your next turn. I can't do anything, so I end my turn. My move! I summon Yatagarasu once again. Attack! Ow. My turn is over. Yatagarasu, return to my hand. Ugh, not again! I end my turn. My move! Ow. My turn again! This just isn't your day. <laughs> my turn is over. Yatakarasu, return to my hand. This sucks. At this rate, I won't be able to draw or use any cards. I have to think of a way to get out of this lockdown strategy. Don't give up. You got this. Kasara, what are you doing here? I was just passing by until I saw you dueling. This guy. Some jerk who won't get the hint. Hey! If the two of you were done gossiping, we've got a duel to finish. And a movie to see. I can see why. My turn is over. Adela, do you need my help? Don't worry about me. I got this. Besides, if you interfere, You'll get a 2,000 life point intrusion penalty if you enter the duel. I can handle this. My move! I summon Yatagrasu! Not this again. I can't let his Yatagrasu attack my life points again. It sucks that I have no cards in my hand to defend my life points. Wait, wait. No cards in my hand. That's right! Attack! I special summon Tosuke Knight from the graveyard to negate your attack and end the battle phase. Damn it! That saved me. I should have used this card earlier, but whatever. Better late than never. I end my turn. Yatagarasu return to my hand. Wait, Darian. Since you have more than six cards in your hand, you have to send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Fine. My turn. Now, Tusky Knight, attack his protector of the sanctuary! <laughs> Next, I play Pot of Greed. Hey, you didn't explain what Pot of Greed does. You seriously don't know what Pot of Greed does. Duelists like you should know what it does. Next, I play Confiscation. By paying 1,000 life points, I can take a look at your hand and send one card to the graveyard. And I choose your Yatagarasu. Whatever. Sweet. Sweet. I don't have to worry about his Yatagarasu anymore. I end my turn. I'll admit that was a clever move on your part. But the fun is only just beginning. Activate the spell, Solar Recharge. I discard Argus Lightsworn Druid to draw two cards. Then I send the top two cards from my deck to the graveyard. And since the two cards I sent to the graveyard was Wolf Lightsworn Beast, it's instantly special summoned to the field. Now, Wolf Lightsworn Beast number one, attack Tosuke Knight! Now, Wolf Lights One Beast number two, attack her life points directly and end this duel. Not so fast. I banish Electromagnetic Turtle from the graveyard to end the battle phase. <sighs> that was close. 
close one. Now you're just wasting time. On my next turn, I'll wipe out what's left of your life points. And then the wedding bells will ring. <laughs> I end my turn. Don't count on that. I send my level 4 rockstone warrior from my hand to the graveyard. To special summon Power Giant! By doing this, Power Giant's level is reduced by 4. That won't matter. Power Giant, smash that wolf to pieces! My turn is over. My turn! I sacrifice Wolf Lightsworn Beast. To advance summon, Celestial Lightsworn Angel. <laughs> Next, I activate my Celestial Special Effect. When this monster is tribute summoned by tributing a Lightsworn monster by sending four cards from the top of my deck to the graveyard, I can target up to two cards you control and destroy them. So say goodbye to your power giant. Now Celestial likes one angel. Attack her life points directly and end this duel. That's impossible. That attack should have wiped out your life points. Good thing I have another electromagnetic turtle in the graveyard to banish. Stop prolonging your defeat. I end my turn. My turn. I set a card and end my turn. My move. I activate another solar recharge. I discard Genesis Lights One Mender to the graveyard. And then I draw two cards. And send two cards from the top of my deck to the graveyard. And since the card I sent to the graveyard was Lights One Judgment, I can now add Judgment Dragon to my hand. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. I set a monster face down. Next I play Double Summon. Next I summon Arcus Lightsworn Druid. Now Celestia, attack her life points and end this duel. Activate Trap! Don't bother. As long as Arcus is on the field, my Lightsworn monsters cannot be targeted by any card effects. So Celestia, strike at Evelyn. <laughs> you survived again? Thanks to Defense Draw, not only I don't take any battle damage, but I also get to draw a card. Let's see you try that again. Arcus, attack the life points now! My turn is over. Because it's my end phase, I must send two cards from the top of my deck to the graveyard. My turn! I banish my Rockstone Warrior and my Power Giant from play in order to special summon Gaia Plate the Earth Giant! Take him down, Evelyn! Now Gaia Plate, attack Celestia! I set a card face down and end my turn. I move! When it's flipped, I can apply these effects. I can destroy one card on the field. So say goodbye to Gaia Plate. Next, I have to send the top three cards from my deck to the graveyard. And now, since I have a total of four Life's One monsters with different names in my graveyard, I can special summon Judgment Dragon! Now I can activate Judgment Dragon's effect. By paying 1,000 life points, I can destroy all of the cards on the field. Oh no. Thought your mirror force would save you? Think again. Now Judgment Dragon, attack her life points directly and end this duel. that you're still in the duel! By banishing Necro Gardena from play, your attack is negated. Nice play there, Evelyn. I end my turn. Now I have to send four cards from the top of my deck to the graveyard. My turn. I play the spell card Fossil Fusion! Uh, one problem? You don't have any monsters to fuse on the field or in your hand. 
What a waste of... Unless... Took you long enough to figure it out. Fossil fusion allows me to fuse monsters from both of our graveyards. And I know you have a monster in your graveyard that I want to fuse with. The one you always forget to take out of your deck. Holy Night Dragon! Damn it! I keep forgetting to take that card out of my deck. Too little too late. Now I fuse my guy and play with your Holy Night Dragon. Fusion summon Fossil Dragon Skolgios! Now Skolgios, attack Judgment Dragon! Now Skolgios' effect activates. It switches your monster's attack and defense points. Oh, crap! And keep in mind, when Skolgios attacks a monster, you take double the battle damage. That's 1,800 points of damage, which is all you have left. Nice try. By sending Karibo from my hand to the graveyard, I take no battle damage. No matter. I end my turn. Perfect! Time to finish you off! Huh? Wait! Where you going? Come back here and let me defeat you so that I can be your boyfriend! Hate to break it to you. Actually strike that. I don't mind breaking it to you. But this duel is over. Have you been keeping track of how many cards are in your deck? Of course I have. I have exactly... Oh shit! I don't have any cards left to draw! I assume you know what that means, right? If a player doesn't have any cards left to draw... You automatically lose. Game over. No! No, no! I already had everything planned for our wedding day! I even already sent out the wedding invitations. The deal's a deal. Now leave me alone. You'll never find another person who will love you, you know. Once you realize that, you'll come crawling back to me! I highly doubt it. <laughs> Congrats on your victory! Oh, thank you! How have you been? I've been alright. I can't believe it's been a year since we last spoke. I know, I'm sorry. Being a duelist and entering the tournaments take up most of my time. I understand. So what have you been up to these days? No, just trying to get through the day. I can understand that. Anyway, I should go. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, huh? Me too. Evelyn. If you're not busy sometime, you want to hang out? Yeah, I'd like that. Call you later? You still got my number? Yes. She